Hello, I'm going to show you how to use a Palo Alto REST APIs with uh, Postman. So the first thing we're going to do is configure um, username and password for the uh, REST API. Uh, I'm going to use uh, two firewalls here so that I can show you the uh, how you can use Postman with both of them using um, variables. So we're going to device uh, admin role and we can call this like a API for example we can disable everything for GUI so this uh, user we only have uh, be able to use uh, API so we can enable XML API for example and all this been here it's been enabled then we're going to create a user we can call it user1 dash api um, password palo auto and administration type we're going to use a row based and choose API so we're going to commit we we'll do same thing for the other uh, firewall You call it user2 dash API. Row base again. API. And we're going to commit so while this committing we are going to um, postman application and here we can start creating uh, our variables first so if you go to uh, environment we can see at the moment we have uh, no variables at all so if we click create environment we can call it here, we can, we can create two for both firewalls so we can call this uh, Palo Auto dash 10 which is how they call and we can start with the uh, first variable so we can create variable as a username and our username as we call it was user1 API then we can create uh, another variable called password and password was follow auto usually when you use a password you can uh, you know create a secret so it cannot be seen but the reason in our demonstration I'm showing this and this will be our uh, first variables, two variables we need. Uh, let's create another one. We call it API key, which we'll, we'll fill this one once we get our API key. Uh, and we leave it uh, like this for now. So we can save this. Uh, you can come here and click on the three dots and you can duplicate this one and we can change the other one we call Palo Alto 11 and you can see it's copy uh, is duplicated but all the 
values are gone so we can create the other one user2 api and password you will again follow auto and save it Uh, there is very important thing uh, that you need to do to make sure that all your uh, uh, calls will work properly. As I don't have certificates on this uh, firewall, you need to go to settings. And make sure SSL certificate verification is turned off. Because by default this will be on and you have issue uh, calling your uh, APIs. So make sure this is off if you don't have certificates. Okay, so we have this create ready. Let's go back to the firewall and we can open the uh, Palo Alto documentation. So if you take any of this, doesn't matter which one, and open a new browser and type REST API dash doc we will open uh, the documentation for the REST APIs that you need to use for your uh, REST APIs this is the whole documentation and the first thing we need to start with is generate the API key so here you can see uh, what is needed so you can see the one that is required you need to use this otherwise it won't work so we have the type which is required will be kgen username and password if you come here on the right you can see it says uh, the, the type is get and you can uh, copy this <coughs> and uh, go back to your uh, postman And we'll create our first uh, collection here. So if you come to collection, create new collection. We can call it, uh, let's say Palo Alto. And then we, we will add uh, this, it says this collection is empty at request to start working so you can click request and this is how we, our first request will be get we can call this uh, get API key and then we start with our uh, get request so we can copy what we get from here Right. So the other thing that we we can add as a, as a as a variable is all this here. So we don't have to type every time. And also, for example, I have two firewalls. One is dot eleven, the other one is dot ten. So you don't want to change this all the time. So we can create another variable for, for this. So if you go back to environment and click on this one, the one that we have now. We can create another variable, we can call it URL. And we can paste the information here. It's going to be HTTPS and your uh, IP address. Let's save it. So go back to your uh, uh, API key collection we created. And here you can see you have your uh, address so if you click on this one and you want to replace it with your variable the way to do it if you use you're using double curly brackets and you can type the url so the variable we created so if you highlight it you can see now it says unresolved variable so the way now to resolve it you have to come here on the right and set and choose the variable that you want to use so in this situation would be 11 and now if you click here if you highlight it, sorry, you can see it shows you what we use. So now we have our 
URL starting, API type keygen, as it says here. So now we need to uh, add our uh, query parameters as a username and password. So if you go here, you can type uh, and sign. It says user as it stayed there equal now we because we already create variables username and password and this is how they come username and password so this is what you need to add the way you call them if you if you have different name you can you know call different names Even you can see they start popping up straight away. So you can use their name. Another end sign. <coughs> Password. Equal. Curly brackets. Password. And this is all you need. Now you can send the request. And you can see you already get your first request and this is the api key that you have so you can copy this go back to your environment variable where it says api key you can paste it here click save to have it saved And you're ready so let's do the other one if i copy here and i go to to this the, the other firewall create another uh, variable so make sure the variables names are matching on both of them otherwise you won't be able to use you know uh, the urls and everything you need to change them all the time so idea is you can have as many firewalls as you want to test using same uh, api and you can just change the change of the firewall here and you use populate it automatically for you so that's very important they should be both same of sites so here we have dot 10 for the first firewall save this now if you go back to the same api key you can save this as well because it's ready now so if you go back to this you can see here this is for the firewall dot uh, 11 that we use now if i change this firewall 10 i can send and now i'm taking the api key for the second firewall so if i go back now to my variables here and come save it and that's it so there's one more um, variable that you need uh, to use so let's create it i'll call it key header and my value will be capitals expand that key so if i save this come to 11 I can add this one here as well key header and save it so this is all you need to start uh, using your REST APIs and, and code them so for now for my first video we have created our variables and we have created our first collection which uh, is taking the um, api key so thank you very much for for all you guys watching uh, watch the next video where i'm going to show you how to get uh, address object and how to also uh, create address object using uh, rest api thank you